Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new team of the season moments. Uh, Baron Net Netzza Baron Netzza Netzia Netzia Baron Netzia. We're gonna call him Baron Netzia. We're gonna call him Baron for the sake of the review. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at a card that is five foot nine with medium medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, a four star weak foot. Now I gave him the marksman chemistry style to improve his dribbling and his shooting, uh, but from the looks of it with this card, the basic chemistry style actually makes sense for him. Because if we take a look at his stats that are being improved in the important areas, uh, he gets a sprint speed boost, he gets a little bit of a shot power, passing boost as well, but you're giving him an agility, ball control, and dribbling boost. I feel like from a base characteristic, you're not really going to be able to notice a huge significant difference from an improvement with a chemistry style for the reactions at a 76 and the composure at a 77, right? Yes, you can give him something like the maestro chemistry style where you boost his reactions to an 86, but then you're still gonna be working with 85 ball control and 89 agility. So uh, we're gonna be trying him out with both the basic chemistry style as well as the marksman chemistry style to see how he performs in game. But with the marksman, we're boosting his reactions by a plus five, ball control and dribbling by uh, a plus 10, plus five each, and then we're giving him some shooting boosts as well. From base card stats, this card has the technical dribbler rate, so not interesting there. 96 acceleration with 93 sprint speed while working with the medium, medium work rate. So it's a card that by default for me personally, I would mostly use in the cam position, but could potentially be okay in the striker position as well. Um, I just, it's not that their attacking AI is not great up top. It's that for me personally with the medium, medium players, they just don't make consistent runs like consistent aggressive runs like someone with a high medium would like it, it, it feels for me like this is the case most of the times with the medium mediums but completely personal preference base this is not like a concrete thing right uh, base card stats for shooting is very good on the card with 97 for shot power with 93 finishing so very nice there with the marks we are going to be boosting that to uh, be perfect at 99 99 99 for long shots with 77 composure so 77 composure um is quite low we be able to notice that with the dribbling from time to time in game but we'll see uh base card stats for passing on the card is at an 88 for short passing and a 71 for long passing so the passing is okay for someone that's going to be mostly attacking for you maybe in the cam position lamb ram um but again he is a medium medium worker at player so you do have to take that into consideration it's a big reason why uh people are actually giving him the engine chemistry style right because the engine chemistry style boosts his balance agility and dribbling as much as possible while working with the ball control and dribbling as it is but they give him extra pace they give him extra passing stats and they just work with his base card stats for shooting as well as dribbling so it could be an option but like i said the basic definitely looks like it actually gives him some pretty decent stuff as well so that's why um, i'm looking into that for sure um so what else we got so we got defense uh, defensive stats 75 heading accuracy not crazy he's got 99 jumping which is helpful from time to time and in, in certain situations not always because he is a person who is five foot nine obviously uh and then he has the average body type right average body type over here to work with uh some physical stats right so with the marksman chemistry style uh we are going to be boosting his physical stats by a plus 10 to strength and then he has 92 stamina for base card stats so with this card in game guys we are going to be using him in a crazy three at the back tactic we're going to be using him like this on the three five two tactics long ball players in the box set to crazy and the only instruction that we're going to have on him is going to be on state four so we're going to see how he plays in game and uh, hopefully he's pretty decent Let's go. Good goal there. We'll take that. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Lucas Vasquez. Is this the moment? Oh, let's go. Beautiful, beautiful build up play. We will take that on a basic chemistry style as well. Oh, that would have been class if I scored that. <laughs> Way too much power, though. Oh, nice try there. It wasn't bad at all. The way he kind of like skipped against that attacker was actually sick. Oh, the goalie saved it. 
No shot. Was it the goalie that saved it or the defender that saved it? Oh man, that would have been a nice goal there too. Okay, so in that situation right there, I just wanted to see what his attacking yeah would be like. Uh, he did fully commit forward, but then he come he came back really quickly too, considering the fact that um, his defense was kind of like dropped back by a lot. It was still decent. Oh, way too much power behind that. No shot. Yo, to be fair, this card's actually doing all of this with a basic chemistry style, which is pretty wild. Let's go. Great goal right there. His dribbling is like, it, it actually comes off really nicely. And this is just on a basic too, like I don't even have a, a dribbling boost on him. Oh, I actually almost got that ball there with him, no shot. The 1v1 I kind of screwed up a little bit, I could have probably taken like a small little touch there to get that finesse shot angle. Ah, uh, you know what's funny? I I think I prefer this card on the basic chemistry style, to be honest. He overcommits the spaces. That's, I've noticed that like two times with him, which isn't bad. You just gotta get used to it. Oh, nothing there, and it's out. Oh, this guy's got no free kicks on him. <laughs> I put so much power behind that one too, and he's still gonna hit it nice. Ah, we'll get that finish right there. Normally, this guy is doing the whole like using one person in the midfield to defend all the time. So normally, when it comes to going against the AI, you kind of want to do you kind of want to do like a fake shot, croquetta skill move combo to get the ball there. Yeah, his dribbling just feels worse with the marksman because the basic gives him like the agility and boost and stuff, which I personally like a lot. I am noticing that a lot with the card right now. No, EA. Oh, EA, you're not going to do that to me there. Oh, there's no chance they just did that. Oh, the guy is making a phenomenal run and he passes it to it. Oh, oh that's so disgusting. His dribbling, it's its really funny. He has like a really unique dribbling uh, thing to him. Like the animation choices he goes with. It, it makes more sense with the basic though, I think. Let's go. Lucas Vasquez, uh, listen man, if you guys packed him from an SBC, he's obviously class. Look at that, look at that instant attacking AI switch to go at an angle right there. So helpful, man. Oh, there we go. We will take that. Good goal right there. Yeah, I'll tell you guys this right now. When it comes to this card, uh, for me, he performs better with the basic. I don't like him on the marksman at all. It's like a... It's like it, it, it's uh, diminished the card in a way, you know? Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone for the finesse shot angle, but over there you can kind of tell with his dribbling that it's a little bit off there too, so... Not bad that we overcommitted that like a bad player. That's why it's good to do the first time fake shot in those areas, because the guy doesn't really know where you're going to... Exit from nice little near post angle shot. Oof! 
Hey man, I tried near post angle right there. I could have gone far post to be fair. He actually might have been able to hit it. Okay guys, so final verdict on this uh, Baron card. We're going to call him Baron for the review, obviously. Um, so for me personally, I was trying him out in the beginning with a basic chemistry style. So no specific dribbling boost to reactions, ball control, and dribbling. In my opinion, I think that the card performs better with the basic chemistry style. However, you still notice the reactions at a 76 and the composure at a 77 for some of the dribbles that he does. Like sometimes he'll do like this emphasis touch when the defender puts pressure on him a certain way. But attacking AI wise with the medium medium work rates, I didn't mind it in the striker position. Like he actually moved into positions really well. I do think that he moved better in that cam position because medium medium just suits that position really well. You can use him in the other attacking positions too because of the 92 stamina uh, that you can work with in your squad. He's a left wing that's Spanish from Real Sociedad. So there's a couple of variables you could definitely work with there. Uh, with his bit, uh, pace at a 96, 98 for sprint speed, if you're gonna use him in the striker position, I do recommend giving him the get and behind instruction. He has this attacking AI where he kind of like overcommits a certain space. So he's not gonna always get himself in an angle once he, once he commits uh, that certain attacking space. But when it, it's a build up play, he does actually do the angled runs from time to time. But like I said, it's a personal preference of mine to not have a player like this at striker in the cam position. It would definitely make the most sense, regardless of his uh, passing stats from base card stats, because with the basic chemistry style, you would be actually improving uh, the main areas of the card to improve him in most of the stats that he has. Um, I do think that this card is a card that joins Sentimental Value FC. I don't think he's that crazy in game for someone that you have to put 210k into as a coin value. Um, maybe for SBC fodder, but it's also an 89 rating too. Like, I don't think this card is crazy by any means, but it is usable in the meta of the game. The only thing that you're gonna notice the most for the meta of the game is obviously going to be dribbling under pressure. The dribbling under pressure because of the 77 composure with 76 reactions, you will notice from time to time, but what compensates it a little bit is that he has some very interesting defensive animations that actually, if you time it correctly, you can actually get past the defensive players really nicely. And he actually found himself in a lot of situations where he did that really nicely for me as well. His shooting comes off really nice too, considering I had the basic chemistry style on him, right? So um, it's not a card that's bad by any means, but it is a card that joins the concept category. So it's someone that... You know, if EA released as an 80k card, honestly, like I know I'm like putting it really low, then it'd be a cool card to get. But, you know, for the SBC fodder that you want to save for anything that they drop in the future, I'd probably save it for something else. But it's still a pretty cool card for what it is. I liked some of the goals that he actually ended up scoring for me. Uh, and it obviously is usable in the meta of the game. So if you want to use him for fun, you definitely can. He'll still be good. The only real thing that you'll notice is the base card stats, base card characteristics for his dribbling. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.